A basketball game can happen just about anywhere, but it takes an organized group effort to make the Summit League basketball championships happen. Kellen's Dan Centella gives us a look at how all the pieces to the basketball puzzle fit together. 20-year-old SDSU student Mitchell Wolf is a volunteer with his school at the Summit League Basketball Championships, where he works with student bands, but he doesn't pick what they play. No, nope, that's up to them. I just have to like give them a kind of time frame of when they can play and how long they can play. He helps facilitate how cheer teams contribute to this event too. Passing along to who's in charge of playing music over the speakers, what the cheer team wants to play while they're out in the court performing. Just like a basketball team needs sharp offense and dedicated defense with good team chemistry and effective coaching in order to win the title here, different people have to come together to make these championships happen. We have a lot of volunteers who you don't see like stuck in the locker rooms with waters and towels and things like that. We have participant gifts that each team gets that we deliver, those types of things that volunteers are doing. Ryan Powell, assistant commissioner for communications with the Summit League, says there are dozens of volunteers with the Sioux Falls Sports Authority. And as you can imagine, it's crunch time for conference employees. So is it all hands on deck for Summit League employees? Yeah, there's 11 of us and we are working, you know, long days, but it's worth it. You know, this is our Super Bowl. In Sioux Falls, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. And all that work that's put into the tournament each year has kept it in Sioux Falls since 2009. Yeah, the tournament was first held in the Sioux Falls Arena and then moved to the Denny Sanford Premier Center in 2015, just months after it opened, which is nearly double its capacity. It's been at the Premier Center ever since. It's just amazing to have this event in our facility year after year after year. Uh, it really is. We've got great support from the league and just all around it's a great event for the city of Sioux Falls. What we hope we're doing is giving back to the community that's embraced us. So hopefully some of that economic impact shows our gratitude in a way that they've embraced us and done such a nice job with the tournament. So it's fun to see the community thrive.